Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jessica Pimentel and I am officially a Miami-based flight attendant for a company here in the United States of America. I am so excited to say that I am finally Miami-based. As you all know, I commuted from Greensboro to Charlotte, which was an hour and a half drive every time I had to go to the airport or come home. And then I commuted from Miami to New York, either LaGuardia, JFK, or Newark. So it's been quite a ride and it is officially April, 2022. And I am finally in Miami and I am absolutely thrilled to be here. So thank you baby Jesus for finally letting me be home based and it feels so good. Being based in Miami for me means that I'm based at home so I can pick up trips easier on my days off on reserve. I will always come home after a trip. I will always be home before I start a trip unless life gets in the way and I decide to be somewhere else. But I don't have to worry about leaving my house an hour early to get to the airport to then be on a flight for two and a half to three hours to get to a different city in a different state. So yeah, being based in Miami is absolutely gonna be a game changer for me and I am just absolutely ecstatic. All right, so for today's video, I actually was tagged in a flight attendant tag video, which had some really cool questions. So I am gonna go ahead and answer those questions right now. I haven't actually looked at the videos to see what other people have said on these questions. I am just, I just read the questions and I wrote them down and I'm just gonna answer them in my opinion only. That way I wasn't influenced by anyone else. So let's get started. Question number one is, do you prefer longer legs or multiple short legs? 110% I prefer longer legs. If you prefer multiple short legs, that's just crazy to me because to me that seems like so many different times of altitude changing and cabin pressurization that just, I just don't think that it's good for me personally, I just always feel way more tired after I do three legs versus one or two. And when you have those one and done longer legs, get those hours in, have to really move around less, I just feel like it's more efficient. So I prefer those. Unless you work those layovers that have, you know, regional calls them lost days and for my airline, we just say like a 24 hour layover and it's just a one one meaning it's not, if it's not worth that much time, then no. But overall, I think longer legs is better for your body because I personally feel like I'm not as tired after just doing one longer leg. Question number two, do you prefer East or West Coast layovers? Okay, so this is difficult because West Coast is where my family's from. from. So if I can get an LA layover, even San Diego, to visit friends or a Fresno layover, that would be awesome because that's where my family is actually living. Or if I could have San Francisco, I think those are really fun. I love California layovers. I love Oregon, Seattle, but I think that overall, I do prefer East Coast layovers just because there's usually a better chance that you're gonna have a better transportation system. So if you do have a layover, there's a more likely chance that you'll be able to just get on the train to go see a friend or go somewhere far away rather than needing to take Uber. Whereas on the West Coast, you're Number one method of transportation is probably going to be Uber and you know, that gets a little expensive. So no thank you. Question number three is Starbucks or Dunkin'? Um, if you know me, you know Dunkin' all the way. Love me a good Dunkie, Dee Dee, I love that. Love Dunkin'. Okay, number four is heels or flats? Heels. Okay, so for me, heels aren't like, I'm not talking about like a stiletto heel. I like to be a little bit taller. I'm 5'2", so I always like to have a little two to three inches on me. And when I am working, the shoes that I wear, I just wear throughout the whole flight and day every time. So I never bring in-flight shoes. A lot of flight, atten flight attendants have their in-flight shoes and then their airport shoes. I currently don't have in-flight shoes. I just wear my airport shoes throughout the whole day because they're not that tall, but they do have a heel on them and they are allowed in the airports for our uniform requirements. Number five is early morning shows or evening slash afternoon show times for your sign in. 110% always afternoon, late morning, evening sign ins for me. Honestly, as long as I can go to the gym before I go to work, I'm pretty happy. 
So anything that's after 10 o'clock in the morning, I'm happy with. And I know it's early morning or like later show times, but even like a nine o'clock, 9.30, during the layover so not my number one sign in like my sign in time when i leave from my house i would love it if that's after 1 p.m and if it's um during the layover and it's a sign in at a hotel if it's after 9 or 10 i'll be happy because i just like to be have my workout done before i start flying versus having to work out when i get to the hotel after a day of working because you all know that that is way harder to do and you're just more likely to get your workout done if you get it done right away in the morning. So that's my preference. Okay, so question number six is main crew or chasing, which I'm not 100% sure what this means, but I'm assuming maybe it's main cabin or not flight attendant number one for us to so basically first class. And I think that's what it means because main crew, all I can think of is main cabin crew. And then I don't know what chasing means. This is new terminology for me. But if that's the case, then if I had to pick between main cabin or first class, I think I would rather work first class just because you kind of have, you don't really have to rely on anybody else. You just kind of do the whole thing on your own. And I'm talking about domestically because internationally it's different. There's more people working in first class, but if I'm working internationally, then I still think I prefer to work first class. It's just more of an intimate experience with you and the passengers and I prefer that. Question number seven, pack your food or buy your food? Always pack your food. I hate buying my food when I am working, when I'm on a trip. For work i hate buying my food i feel like i should be making money not spending my money and especially not spending my money in food that's just not gonna really fill me up make me happy and yeah i mean i'd rather go out for food with the crew or with a friend if i'm on a layover but i don't want to go buy food at airports or just for myself question number eight is ready slots or not um, I also don't know what this is, and I guess I probably should have looked these up before, but I'm assuming that this means a reserve, ready reserve, or not ready reserve, meaning that you're just on call for 24 hours or if you're or not. So I'm gonna go ahead and say not. Anything that's not about being on call, I pick because I do not like being on reserve. I don't think many flight attendants do, but if I had, but I would rather know what I'm working on reserve rather than just be on call all day for 24 hours or even for 12 hours, which is the way that my company does it. Question number nine is what's more important for the hotel? Is it the location of the hotel or the amenities that the hotel has? I think this really depends on the layover length that you have, but if I have a short layover, then definitely the amenities. And when I mean amenities, I mean the gym. I don't really care about anything else other than the gym at a hotel. It's always nice to have free breakfast at a hotel, but I do pack my food, so regardless, I'm not gonna be spending money. But if the hotel has a good gym, I'll be happy. Although if it's a 24 hour layover and we're downtown, I would much rather have the location be downtown because the layover is long, rather than having an airport hotel that has a beautiful gym and be right by the airport when the layover is 24 hours. So I think overall, since I can just go for a run or do a workout in the room or outside, I think I'd rather have the location just because I hate the idea of having to spend a lot on Uber to go somewhere or let's say I don't have food, if it's easier to just walk somewhere and get it. If you wanna do something with a crew, it makes it more attainable and it's just much better to look out the window and see a nice view of a downtown versus the airport or the parking lot or some weird rooftop of the hotel and you have no idea what that even is. <laughs> okay, question number 10 is automated or reading announcements. I personally like to read the announcements, but if I ever forget or when I hear the automated come on, I'm like, yes, love that. But I think it sounds more personable whenever you read it yourself. I think in flight, sometimes automated announcements are nice, but definitely for boarding, deplaning, arrival, everything like that, I think that reading announcements are way better. All right, question number 11 is being a slam clicker or having some layover fun. So slam clicker is the people that as soon as they get to their layover, they go into their hotel and basically lock the door completely. So they just slam click. So they slam the door and click it locked, which I don't consider myself a slam clicker. If my crew is really cool and they even just want to go down to meet for a drink or something, depending on how long the layover is, I'm probably going to be down 
That's probably my biggest fault though, is the fact that I am such a yes girl and I'm always kind of down to go out with the crew. Probably should say no more than I say yes because I have other things I need to do, of course. But for the most part, if the crew is fun and I am vibing with everybody or if I have a friend in town, I'm probably likely to go do something. Sometimes slam clicking makes it seem like you do not leave the room at all and that is just not me. I always go to the gym. I like to go for walks on long layovers. I like to go do something outside. I like to go to grocery stores if I don't have any food and just do something that's not just in the hotel. So I definitely think that I prefer layover fun. Of course, there are those layovers where it's just 10 hours and yeah, I'm gonna slam click that. But for the most part, I like layover fun. Also, clearly I can't answer this question, this or that, because there is so much gray area and everything. <laughs> uh, okay, last question is number 12, winter or summer flying? Okay, I personally prefer to work during the winter because during the summertime, I think I have more plans, I have more travel plans, I have more things that I wanna do, the weather is nice, so it's nicer to kind of be more on vacation, you know, hashtag hot girl summer. But winter flying, I actually find it very fascinating and interesting because there's so many complications that happen with weather that I actually find it fun, which I know is awful, but I do think it makes flying more interesting whenever sequences are messed up and changed and just random things happen. Maybe when I've been flying for a lot longer, I might change my mind on this, but for now, I think winter flying keeps things pretty interesting. So I'm gonna go with that option. All right, everyone. So that is gonna go ahead and wrap up this flight attendant tag questionnaire. Um, the flight attendant that I saw this from, her name is Dia Dobbs. I'm pretty sure I'm saying it right. If not, that would suck, but I'm gonna go ahead and link her down below so you guys can see her channel. I have no idea who she is, but she's the person that I have I was tagged in the video of, so I have to shout her out, of course. I did not watch her video because I didn't wanna know what her answers were, but I will go ahead and watch her video now. Leave a comment, let her know that I tagged her in this, and yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. Also, sorry that I don't have a better setup for these Q and A's or these intro ending videos that I've been doing here in this spot but our house right now is kind of still empty in certain rooms that would look nice and I need to get more furniture or else the echo is gonna be awful and I already know that you guys don't like an echo because you told me in one of my videos so I don't wanna go ahead and do that mistake again. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate all of your support and I will see you in the next one. Beijingos, ciao, ciao.